extremely well tonight. Um, South Alabama's undersized, and they played that two-three zone, and they got smaller guards out front. Um, and I thought we did a good job with our spacing, and I just kind of let the kids play out of space tonight. Not a lot of play calls, and I thought they did a did a really nice job. You know, the fact that we had one, two, three, four, five, six guys make more than one three speaks to the fact that we got some guys that can shoot it. The problem is um, we only had eight two-point baskets and we only went to the foul line 14 times and we didn't shoot a free throw until about after about 30 minutes of basketball. So we've got to pick up our physicality um, and um, our whole front line is young and um, we've got to do a better job of getting them more touches and getting more physical play from them. Um, you know, South Alabama, uh, you know, the kid, kid Flowers uh, was you know, really, really good. Um, I thought we did a great job um, on the big, you know, the foreign kids, not letting those stretch fours um, get going because they've been pretty, you know, big for them, but they had some real good athletes and they turned some corners and I was not at all happy with our second half defense. All right, we'll open it up for questions. Our first question comes from Brian Matthews. Hi, Bruce, thank you for speaking to us. Um, wanted to ask you about how you felt about your ball movement and your, you, you know, the three points you took. Did you think you were taking good shots? I thought they shared it. I thought they spaced it. The ball got inside out. I thought they were looking for each other. Um, I thought that, um, Guys were in, in, in a ready to shoot mode. Um, I didn't think we took many bad shots. Um, I thought we had a number of careless turnovers. Um, I thought we tried to dribble the ball out of traffic several times and we just could have possessed the basketball. I thought we got our hands all out of rebounds that we didn't possess. Um, but our spacing and our offensive efficiency was off the charts and we made shots. Look, 22 threes is, a, is, a, is, a, is an Auburn record. Um, and it ties an SEC record. So we spread it. We shot it pretty well. We'll go to Mark Murphy. Yeah, can you talk about Justin's game tonight? Not just the scoring, but the nine assists and one turnover. Um, well, Murph, you're one of the historians here. You're one of the you're one of the KG vets. You tell me the last best freshman home debut. True. And I'll put it up against that one. Uh, you know, 26 points, nine assists, one turnover. He had four defensive rebounds. I'd say he played terrific. Um, he's, a, you know, there's something to be, be said for having grown up in Kentucky um, and playing basketball uh, where there's a high IQ. I coached at Southern Indiana for nine years. And I'll tell you what, those kids at Butler, you know, or you know, or Southern Indiana, or, you know, those Kentuckys, those kids know how to play. Extremely well coached in high school, um, and uh, you can tell he's got he's got great fundamentals, and he certainly stepped up big tonight. We'll go to Justin Ferguson. Hey Bruce, you've talked about wanting to get off to better starts in games. You guys scored really well, got off to a huge lead, changed up the starting lineup. Was was that what you were hoping for tonight? I was hoping to start better. Um, I, I wanted to get to, to try some different combinations. I wanted to see if our starters could play with Justin leading them. I thought we did. Um, I, I, you know, again, I just uh, we've got to get we've got to get some things tightened up on the defensive end. Um, and, um, and 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 uh, maybe it was the score. You know, maybe it was the fact that we were in control of the game, but um, um, I thought Jalen Williams played really well. We can play through Jalen. Jalen is so versatile. I try to, I'm try. i trying to get the ball in his hands all the time because every time Jalen gets the ball, I think something good's going to happen. And most of the time offensively, it did. Defensively, not so much. Um, I thought Jamal Johnson played really solid tonight. Uh, made a lot of good decisions. We were better with him on the floor. So that was encouraging. Our next question comes from Jordan Hill. 
Bruce, you kind of hit on this uh, in your opening statement, but the fact that there was seven different guys that hit threes, and I think six during that early run when you guys kind of built that lead, just how big was it that you guys weren't relying on just a couple of those guys? Everybody got involved shooting from behind the horn. Well, I think it's I got I think I've said from the beginning, um, we got ten or eleven good players. Um, we'll see if we have any great players. That's to be determined. But we've got good balance, and you know we saw some guys rise tonight. Will they be the same guys that arise in Atlanta against Memphis on Saturday, and then Texas Southern, and then Troy and App State? Um, this team needs to get a lot better. Um, we're going to get more experience because we've got such so little. Experience. This is that was our fourth game in eight days. That's a lot, um, plus all the travel that we had. Um, so I think we might have been, we really truly might have been a little fatigued in the second half. Um, we'll see. All right, we'll go to Gianna Hahn. Hi, Coach. Um, how much does your length, your athleticism, and your effort kind of help combat some of those useful mistakes on defense? How much did our, can our length and athleticism combat our youthfulness? I think it can. Um, but I still saw them get to the rim, you know, way too, way too much. So length is good if you know how to use it. Um, and I thought we did, we did a decent job stopping their three ball. Uh, they averaged, they've averaged making nine threes a game. I told the team that the only way they could beat us was from three, not two. We did a pretty good job defending the three ball, but we did not do a very good job defending on two point baskets and drives to the basket and our guys showing the ability to keep somebody in front of them. All right, we'll go to Christian Clemente. Uh, Bruce, even with him not eligible to play, how much did it mean for you guys to have Shreve Cooper there just cheering on his teammates for the home opener? He's an incredible kid, an incredible young man. And uh, um, I'm very proud of him.